So, where was I? Hello, I'm Jacob, and I recently got in touch with a company called Coffee Audio. You might also know them as Coffee Custom Caps. They make these luxurious-looking guitar and bass cabinets. And obviously, the next big thing would be to make IRs of those cabinets. So they were kind enough to send me a pack, actually two packs. A Profi pack would be basically the more extended version of the basic pack. In the basic pack you have solid state and tube amp versions and within those two folders you have different sample rates. I'm using 48 and you have cream bag or red bag or the mix of like two microphones and so on. In the basic pack they skipped some positions to make it cheaper, obviously. So you have like one, three, five, seven, and so on. And in the professional pack, you have all those guys in between. And also an extra SM58 and Sennheiser E906. So let's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play and show you some of the examples. <laughs> So, I mean, all of these sound really great, I think. I typically stick around four, uh, but for leads, I would probably go lower, like eight, nine. <laughs> Then there's this ribbon mic combined with SM57 that sounds like this. So, like I said, this would be pretty good for like those mellow leads with almost a rolled off top end where you don't want those harsh upper mids. Um, something which I haven't much experimented with is this SM58 with E906. <laughs> So there you go, these were the mixes. I typically just stick to the mixes. I think they sound really good. But if you'd like, you can make your own. You can take SM57. <laughs> and maybe combine it with a ribbon mic. Or 
or you can take an E906 on its own. This is really interesting. You actually get SM58 by itself. Very interesting. So let's try the same position, but on the red back. Now we're on the cream back. Let's go to the red back. So this is number eight. Yeah. see what the ribbon mic sounds like on its own all right this must be my favorite so yeah, there you go. I've been using the pack myself. Actually, a couple of the videos which I recently released, they all had these IRs and I'm really happy with them. They don't need much EQing. I remember I was just doing a little bit of a notch EQ in the upper mids, like just two notches. And for the second guitar, I had to use the good old Andy Sneep trick with the uh, multiband to uh, get those low mids under control. <sighs> I, I lost my pick. Okay, I'm going to show you how it sounds in the mix. Um, so I have this track here. I actually put the IR loader on the bus. I know it's stupid, don't hate me. It's just out of like practicality. But it works, so why not? So I'm just gonna go through a couple of impulses as the song plays. So, check this out. 